And so another day begins in Two Point County, where students at the Mitten School of Medicine may soon be able to practice on actual living people. Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies, but there are no do-overs in real life. Trouble making ends meet. <laughs> Need some extra dough. Call Smell My Cash. Because an 80% interest repayment rate is nothing to sniff at. Smell My Cash. <sighs> the desperate solution. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio.
That's it for me, but remember to tune into Bungle Kids tomorrow, where it's back to back bureaucrats all day long. If you've not seen it before, I encourage you to give it a try. 
No one's too old for cartoons, man. And this one's colorful, real funny, and also contains lots of great legal advice. It's helped me out on more than one occasion. Pack a bag, grab a fork, 
And don't forget your eating shoes because you're coming on a trip with Chef Ricky. Yes, it's me, Ricky Hawthorne. And today, I'll be taking your taste buds all over Two Point County and talking about some of my most favorite comestible experiences.
The Flemington area is renowned for its traditional oyster stews. Unfortunately, the guide I was using was maybe a little too traditional, as the restaurant I had planned to visit moved 35 years ago. Luckily, the petrol station now at that site sold a really memorable version of that fishiest of concoctions. It just goes to show, you don't have to be picky when it comes to seafood. It's all good.
And now to hog sport, and one of my favourite sports, the oily cormorant. You must try their rendition of the region's kidney and kidney pie, made popular, of course, during the steak drought of 1823. I'll also recommend trying their famous linseed aioli, mixed in barrels made of recycled cricket bats.
Domesticated? Try litigating! The Bureau Cats are back with more wacky administrative mishaps than ever. The Bureau Cats! No amount of paperwork is going to stop these cats from landing on their feet. Watch Bureau Cats every day on Bungle Kids, 24 hours a day. This is Two Point Radio.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm sure you've heard of smoking food, but have you heard of smogging food? It's all the rage down in, you guessed it, smogly. While it may be an acquired taste, if I've learned anything about food over the years, it's that acquired tastes are always the fanciest, and therefore the best. The Gruckle Bay Bug, that ten-legged wonder, the crown jewel of our county's waters. There's something so captivating about a crustacean that you can share amongst a table of five. The shells are incredibly useful, of course. I have one at my home that I use as a rather tasteful fruit bowl.
Let's talk about the Sug de Parfait and its namesake, Semi Solid. I wouldn't recommend eating anything but when you're there, not least to avoid disparaging looks from the patrons if you're seeing eating anything with a discernible texture. It's a special moment for any Poinchon child to select a spoon and head to the flavor gazebo to make that first order. Mine was half pistachio, half liver and onions. You never forget. Oh.
needed in research. Charlatine Fish Rapper at the Two Point Squabbler and Two Point Squabbler Online for great stories and perspective from a human just like you. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
to finish our trip, I'd like to talk about vegetables from the southeast of our beautiful county, a region I've not yet visited. Though through my contacts in the green-grossing community, I've started sourcing carrots as big as a leg and as sweet as you like. Sensational! If I knew any better, I'd say they were designed rather than grown. <laughs> Kudos to the farmers down in Camouflage Falls. Greetings and congratulations for joining me on this, the finest day of the year, the day of my birth. Needless to say, today's show will honor the man of the hour, the heartbeat of this county, and the crown jewel of Two Point Radio. Me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth.
I cannot help but think back to those birthdays of yesteryear and the sepia days of my youth. Breaking in a freshly opened hoop and stick, my sister swallowing her favorite marble, roughhousing in the parlor, the air thick with the smell of Mama's spotted dick. Ah, those are some of my favorites. Do get in touch to let us know which of my memories is your favorite. In today's Sir Nigel Reviews, I will be reviewing birthday candles from Wickwalk, Flemington's premier vendor of candles and East Asian culinary equipment. Light, true, burn, persistent, aroma not unfragrant. All in all, an admirable effort.
Mortimer, Mortimer, you've just won another Grand Point final. How do you do it? Well, I couldn't do it without my cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins, the answer to every question. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Your 
listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I have a message from Jerry who says, Hello, Nigel. Happy birthday. My name is Jerry. I am five years old. How many years old are you? How dreadfully adorable. Hello, Jerry. Thank you for your well wishes. Unfortunately, I don't answer such uncouth questions. Right, today's show has been. I can only hope that it pales in comparison to the real deal this time next month. Here's hoping that you enjoyed today's trial run. Ta ta!
Ricky Hawthorne here, bringing you music, sunshine, and old-fashioned charm on Two Point Radio. And we begin with a belter of a track.
Ah, hearing such wonderful music reminds me of my youth, but I could just sit quietly and listen to songs one after the other. Well, never mind. Let's listen to some more songs. Rival executive now approaching the hospital. Burger's first drive-thru has opened in Grockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
deposited in a bin is now hospital property. No rummaging. Time for the news now. A leak has been discovered in one of the Meltdown's factories. Police say they may have to evacuate the surrounding region, which sounds like a great excuse to go on holiday for a few weeks. Lucky people!
You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. We're coming up to the top of the hour, which, if you ask me, is the very best part of the hour. I know, I know, some of you will say, but Ricky, what about the bottom of the hour? And you'd be right. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Patients for psychiatry on the way. 